Today, I'm joining you from our beautifully renovated catering kitchen to share a recipe with you that hails from the 1800s. Dr. Physic, who lived at this house between 1815 and 1837, had a daughter named Susan. And we are lucky enough to have Susan's recipe book in our archives. So I took a peek and I selected a recipe. It's called a brown Betty pudding, and it's very simple, very delicious, and you really don't need to have that many ingredients to make it. So without further ado, we are going to prep the ingredients. Time to put this all together. Here are the breadcrumbs that we made and here is two tablespoons of butter. So we're just gonna pour that over the breadcrumbs, give that a mix, and then I've gone ahead and put butter in this cute little cast iron skillet and we're gonna take half of the mixture and just spoon it in. The next step, apples. So these are our finely diced apples. We're gonna pour the entire apple over top. Press that down a bit. Add a squeeze of lemon juice. This is a third a cup of brown sugar with a teaspoon of nutmeg and just a little sprinkle of cinnamon. That's gonna top the apple. Spread that out nicely. You really wanna compact this because the final layer is one more addition of breadcrumbs. So. And at this point, you might need to just use your hands. Pressing that all together nicely. Okay, so next we're gonna cover this with aluminum foil and put it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so our brown Betty is just about to come out of the oven, but before I take it out, I wanted to talk for a quick second about regulating oven temperature in the 1800s. Back then, you weren't able to just set your oven to a temperature and let it preheat. You had to use a slightly more primitive method. What folks would do is they would take their arm, stick it directly into the center of their oven, and count. Based on how many seconds they were able to keep their arm in the center of the oven, that gave them a measure of just how hot their oven was. So today's recipe called for a moderate oven, which is 24 seconds of holding your arm in the oven. This translates to 350 degrees. I'm feeling very thankful today that I did not have to stick my arm in an oven for 24 seconds in order to make this recipe. It's done. Here she is. Our brown Betty pudding. She might not be much to look at, but uh, this is very similar to a standard bread pudding. It doesn't have egg in it, of course but uh, it's bound together really wonderfully. It smells fragrant like apples and cinnamon, and it would normally go with a brandy and butter sauce. I'm not gonna be making that today, but I also think it would go really good with vanilla ice cream. Anyway, I hope this inspires you to bake at home and to look specifically at recipes that are from a while ago and see if you can recreate them in your own home. Thanks for joining me.